Moving on, let's talk about the main topic of the day. Brendan Schaub going out of his way to put his foot in it once again. He has this uncanny ability of putting his foot in it, even when he doesn't mean to. Because I don't think he's trying to be malicious here. I don't think he's trying to be mean. I don't think he's trying to, you know, be controversial or stoke the fires. But he should have been a little bit more aware of the situation and how sensitive it is before he waded in. In case you're wondering what's happening, there's a random clip going, no, there's a clip from a podcast, I'm assuming, between Jake Paul and Logan Paul, where I guess they're talking about the fight up and coming for Logan against Dylan Dennis. And the topic of Dylan Dennis, you know, going after his wife comes up and they mention something about Logan basically suing Dylan or his wife suing Dylan and all that malarkey that's going on around it. Brendan sees that clip and decides to chime in and, you know, be nosy and be a bit of a drama queen get involved but the odd thing that he does here is that he knows both jake and logan he also knows dylan dennis so he really should not get involved in this at all he should just stay out of it be as neutral as possible and just comment on the fight because it's gone a bit far now right the the, the back and forth the fight promotion even though i don't really have an issue with what dylan dennis is going jake and logan especially sorry is clearly annoyed by how um Dylan has been going at him for the fight promotion, posting all the pics of his wife on the timeline and shit. He doesn't like that. He's not for it. Clearly, they don't like that. Clearly, it's something that's upsetting her because she went as far to fucking sue him. She's got a quote unquote restraining order on him and stuff that was going to put the fight into jeopardy. So it's clearly a bit of a sensitive topic. If I'm Brendan and I'm trying to suck up to the Paul brothers, I'm just going to stay out of it. It's none of my business, right? You know, tensions are high, emotions are high, blah, 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 blah. But Brendan can't help himself. So he writes a tweet that says, this bums me out. First rule of Fight Club, don't sue another fighter building the fight. The funny thing is about this tweet is that in reference to Brendan, he was also the same person that sued Unique. He also was threatened to sue fucking Annie Liederman and Esther P Pavitsky and Pajinsky Sora, whatever her fucking name is, and um, Kalila when they were kind of, you know, going at him and exposing him and shit. He loves a good suing. So for Brennan to come out and say suing isn't cool when you're fighting, which is it's a good point, but coming from him, it's like, bruh, what? You sued Unique for posting a clip of you on live stream handing a random woman that isn't your wife a note. That was a dumb thing to do. That was definitely that was definitely textbook Streisand effect because nobody else would have probably gave a fuck about that clip, right? Unique puts up clips about you all the time. They're, they're just what they are. But because you went out of your way to try to sue him, you then had all these big fucking YouTubers like Moist Critical and shit jumping out and making videos about you and essentially putting more attention on it. And if anything, think about this. Brendan suing Unique, I think, is what led to this whole Brendan Shaw micro content economy that exists on social on youtube i know i've been doing my thing for a while and there's been other channels but i feel like the moment he sued unique for putting up that clip of him handing that woman a note that's when suddenly all these other channels that were making little compilations popped up so in a way he created this whole entire little sub scene of people making compilations of his worst mistakes why he's a horrible comedian why he's not funny it's such a dumb own goal so anyway he said that is stupid let's play the clip of what brendan quoted because i want to hear what what the actual clip says i think dylan dennis has about sixty thousand dollars to his name and then that's being generous now because of the lawsuit he has to fight you to make the money otherwise he's gonna declare bankruptcy but even then it doesn't end you put liens on every paycheck he gets for the rest of his life yeah Jesus to garnish Christ. his wages daniel it's a bit excessive but hey it is what it is it's the fight game it's gonna be personal now obviously it's involving his wife i personally think logan's making a big mistake um it's you know, Dylan is basically trolling him and trying to promote the fight. And the fact that he's taking this this personal is really, really weird because if anything, it's going to just encourage more people to do it. Even if he gets Dylan Dennis to shut up, it's still not going to stop people posting the meme of his wife being with everyone under the sun, guys and stuff. Doesn't mean she fucked them all, but it's just a funny fucking meme. You should just let it lie, laugh at it and kept it moving. Obviously, his wife's not going to be happy about it, I understand. But him being a fighter, like and him being a social media dude he should have understood that it's never gonna sit well with people if you're trying to shut up people from talking about you in this way especially considering all the stuff that he's involved with the kind of crypto zoo stuff the fact that he doesn't have a good reputation online all the stuff he's been involved with in the past about his youtube career i'm not going to get into that but it's a really weird move from him i'm not going to lie um if ever you're going to show that you really do care and that you're really hurt try and sue somebody 
you can't then pretend that you don't care and you don't not bothered because you're going to sue them and you're now trying to you know garnish his future wages it's just weird you don't need to do that i don't think so i think some people don't play about their partners i think brendan doesn't really understand that that's why he's just jumping in there because as much as i don't agree with what logan is doing i understand that some people will always take up for their partner and will go to the end to defend them so he probably doesn't like the fact that his wife is getting cyber bullied in a way which she isn't but you know let's say he thinks that and he's gonna try and defend her i personally don't think it's a correct tactic it's making him look like a lame it's going to just encourage more people to troll um and it's just not it's never going to stop personally and if you wanted to stop it just act like you don't it's not bothering you even if it is bothering you let the fight happen knock fucking dylan dance's head off his shoulders and then you've kind of won essentially right but he didn't now even if he wins the troll still continues right like he's he's in a lose-lose position here even if he sparks out dylan dennis in the first second what's the first tweet dylan dennis is going to send out he's not going to send out a congratulations tweet he's going to post another picture of fucking um his wife in some compromising position you know it's going to happen so he really kind of fucked it but i also understand some people don't play about their partners and he's taken up for her. But I guess Brendan doesn't understand that and he probably just sees it all as a content game, whatever. And obviously he knows them. So when Jake Paul saw that, he was like, hold on, I know you. Why are you saying this? So Jake Paul clearly, sorry, Logan Paul saw that, wasn't too happy. And he wrote a massive reply, which I'm going to find here, sorry. He quote tweeted reply to fucking Brendan, right? And he says here, it bums me out that three weeks ago, I DM'd you Nina's lawsuit d- details because of your ignorance and your response was, oh Jesus, did not know that, not cool, dot dot. Then you came on here talking about fight club rules like you're the referee. This twisted promotion has gone far beyond fight game and you know that. <sighs> that's true though because Brendan's the same guy that's crying online about people like myself or maybe others who are like, oh, you're getting too personal. It's like, bro, everyone's just commenting on the things that you say. Like I said, I'm not a fan of people, especially on the Reddit, who go after his wife and shit. I don't think that's fair game. I think Brendan gives us enough content to fucking go at him. You don't need to include his wife or his kids and shit. That's a bit low. But some people think that because she's got a verified account and she puts herself out there as being a celebrity, that she's fair game. I'm not here to deliberate that, but for me, I'm not a fan of it. But Brendan did that whole trying to curry sympathy he tried to play the sympathy game by like oh these guys can be too personal that's why i don't like their criticism blah 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 and started crying online so you'd think brenda would have a little bit more understanding of logan paul's position because of the amount of stuff that he gets online the stick that he gets but he doesn't so logan gave him a good read here it continues plus i'm not the one suing him he picked a fight with an innocent woman who is standing up for herself the only way that she can by holding a predator legally accountable for breaking the law any person who doesn't understand that is a delusional twat the lawsuit is her choice and i fully support her you see what i mean about some people don't play about their wives again you can think it's cringe or whatever it may be but it's also a little bit quite admirable that he's riding this hard for his girl it's kind of i know it's not some people do not agree but it is kind of admirable he's going this hard for his girl but brendan doesn't understand what that means to go hard for your girl on social like this i mean he, he doesn't do this the only people that he defends aggressively online is fucking chris Delia and brian callan do you know what i mean and they've got a fucking sketchy past so he's calling brendan a twat here and basically saying you're a fucking idiot you don't know what you're fucking talking about last line now i now i get to break his face um in front of millions of people and ruin his entire life win-win personally i disagree i don't think it's a win-win i personally think it's a lose-lose because even if logan does what we think he's gonna do based on the clips that we've seen of dylan dennis striking and shit he doesn't look great you know let's be honest unless he's kind of fooling us and he's purposely punching horribly when he's doing the mitts and shit he doesn't look great when it, sorry when it comes to striking So most likely, considering how much bigger Logan is compared to fucking Dylan Dennis, considering how much better of a boxer it looks like he is than him, most likely he's going to take Dylan Dennis' head off his shoulders. But it doesn't matter because the first fucking tweet that Dylan's going to send out after the loss, even if it's within the first 10 seconds of the first round, will be a picture of fucking Logan's wife and it'll just start again. You know, he won't stop. 
He might even come to the ring with a t-shirt of her face. Like he's just not going to stop. The troll is going to continue because he knows it hurts Logan's feelings. And now he's let them know it doesn't matter. Like the fight is just what it is. It's extra promotion. It is what it is. What a fight. So he has to basically knock him out, knock him out super quickly. Even if he does, it's not going to change anything. But I do respect him defending his wife at like this publicly. And I absolutely laughing my head off when I saw this because Brendan's been trying to suck up to the Paul brothers for so long. We all seen that epic fucking interview where he kind of, you know, tries to promote his Gringo Happy special on their show, Impulsive, and it's the most awkward podcast episode ever. What are they? What's up, brother? How are you? Good to see you, Good to see you bro. Pleasure. It's always a pleasure. What's going on, man? It's clear that they're not really friends. They don't really speak that much. Um, and he's trying to suck up to these guys who are way younger than him, but way, rich, way richer, have more clout. And he desperately wants to be a part of their cool club, but they don't really fuck with him like that. They don't need him. They don't want him. And it's kind of really awkward. And Logan basically goes out of his way to kind of rush in the pod and say they have to go to dinner. And I think I read the comments of the clip and someone said they filmed that episode of the podcast like super early in the afternoon. I think someone said in the comments like it was like at 4 p.m. or something. And suddenly Logan's like, yeah, we need to go to dinner. <laughs> to kind of get to get brendan out of there and him allegedly according to bgl he said that he thought it went great through the ama somebody asked him hey what did brendan think of the logan paul um interview they did for for the promo for gringo papi and bgl was like yeah he actually thought it was good he's that delusional he didn't think it went badly at all he thought it was a really good podcast i was like oh my god this guy's so desperate for the clout that he's deluding himself into thinking these guys are his friends so this is a reminder that logan paul and Brendan Shaw are not friends. If ever you needed a reminder. Maybe Jake Paul likes him because Jake Paul seems to be a little bit more personable when it comes to Brendan. Even the Food Truck Diaries, I think that they've had together. They seem like they get along way better. But I don't think Logan has ever liked Brendan because it sounds like here he sent Brendan a DM to clear up some things because he said something stupid and he still didn't get it. And then he went again and called him a fucking twat, essentially. He called him a delusional twat. <laughs> and I actually want to hear the comment. Let's play the clip of Brendan talking on the Shorb Show because he talks about it too. He made the same comment that he made on the tweet on his show. So I want to hear what he actually said. What did Brendan say on his Shorb Show about the whole thing? The first rule of Fight Club is we don't sue each other. Outside of this, let's say they weren't fighting and Dylan was doing this. Okay, now I see defamation. He's going after your girl, your fiance. That makes sense. As soon as you sign the contract to fight. Oh, no wonder he's so fucking slow. I get Logan's point. Did he think Logan Paul was, was suing Dylan Dennis? Didn't he know that this the wife suing him? I know it technically some people might say it's the same thing, but how could he not know that? That was the big news when it came on TMZ and shit. Everybody knows Logan Paul's soon-to-be wife is the one suing Dylan because of all the pictures he's posting. And that was all the debate on the timeline. Can you sue somebody for posting pictures that you uploaded yourself online? It's going to make Logan look bad, blah, 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 blah. So he doesn't even know the details. And he's just like, again... Brendan is so fucking dumb, dumb, isn't it? Like, he just spouts stuff out without having any idea of what he's talking about. And it's even worse in this respect because one of these guys is meant to be his friend. He's cordial with Dylan. And one of these guys is meant to be his friend in content creation. You'd imagine he'd be, he'd do a little bit of due diligence, a tiny bit, just to be aware of what, or even start the, the fucking segment. Like, you know, I'm really close with Logan. Obviously, I've worked with Dylan in the past. I like both of them guys. So I'm going to watch my words here. Like you could even give those kind of disclaimers and come at it with some level of sympathy. But he's just talking about it like a shit poster online, you know, like. <laughs> and then he's wondering why he's calling him a delusional twat. I can't wait until he gets on his pod. You know what Brendan's going to say in it? I spoke to I spoke to Logan. We're on the phone for a couple of hours. Um, he apologized to me. Um, Logan said he's a big fan. Um, Logan said he's going to come to my next show. He said he, you know, he said he probably was drinking too much. That's why he tweeted what he tweeted. Logan's cool. He's one of my boys. You know, I love Logan. Me and Logan have no problem. It's like, bro, man. The first rule of Fight Club is we don't sue each other. Outside of this, let's say they weren't fighting and Dylan was doing this. Okay, now I see defamation. He's going after your girl, your fiance. That makes sense. As soon as you sign the contract to fight, you make him pay with your fist. Not with your lawyers, not with your money, through your fist. That's why you're fighting. Now, all your the Logan Paul fans can't stand Dylan for doing this. Now you get to watch the guy that you love punch the other guy in the face. 
That's an interesting point, isn't it? Don't you think it's interesting how unlikable Logan must be that even in this pretty obvious case where Dylan should be the bad guy, Logan is still looked at as worse than Dylan. Isn't that interesting? In any other scenario, if somebody did what Dylan was doing in a run-up to a fight, they would always be looked at as a bad guy. But Logan is so unlikable, people still are rooting for Dylan over Logan. <laughs> Like the internet wants Dylan to win. No one wants Logan to win. The whole internet wants Dylan Dennis to win. That's fucking crazy. That's why I say even if Dylan loses, he's still going to win on the internet. Everybody fucking loves him. He, he's actually he's actually transformed his reputation over the, over time. Um, even though because he, he was kind of hated before because of always dropping out of fights. Now he's actually be he's actually more loved now on social than he ever was before, even though he's facing somebody that is arguably more unlikable than him. It's really strange. Dim the rules. That's how this goes. Nobody wins when you sue. Nobody. A we, judge might we know that because you tried to sue Unique. You might say this guy wins. You both lose. When parents get divorced, they bring in lawyers. Everybody loses. Mom, what? Mom loses. Dad loses. The kids definitely lose. I don't like that they're going down this road in any facet. <laughs> he loves a good facet. All I'm saying is I sympathize with Dylan. If I'm going to sell a fight, I can't go based off his fighting credentials. So what else are we going to do to sell this thing? What? <laughs> so he's justifying Dylan doing what he's doing, even though he's friends with Logan. Yo, this guy is the worst. And again, I don't know. Like, I don't know anything about friendships because I don't have many. But I know when it comes to LA friendships and shit, the way you show you're a friend of somebody in the LA content influencer space is that you just, you, you back them up all the way. Everything they do, you always back them up. That's how you kind of show your loyalty. How can you say you're a friend of Logan's when you're saying, you know, I see both sides. I understand why Dylan's doing what he's doing. That's not going to work in the LA content, clout game, whatever. You have to just, it's undying loyalty or nothing. It's either undying loyalty or you're an op. Now he turned into Logan's op because he tried to, what, create content. And again, don't be surprised if Brendan gets on the fire and the kid or his podcast and says he just said that for content because he does that before when he gets called out like this he's either going to try and lie and say logan apologized to him he's going to say he's, he's going to make himself look look a look like the hero he's not going to he's going to make himself look like the hero or he will say i'm just doing it for content you know it's a this is my fucking game i'm here we're doing content me and brett mean thing are boys blah 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 but that Logan Paul fucking reply was very spicy. He did not mince his words here. It bums me out that three weeks ago, I DM'd you Nina's lawsuit details because of your ignorance. And your response was, oh Jesus, I didn't know that, not cool. Then you come on here talking about the Fight Club rules like you're the referee. This twisted promotion has gone far beyond the fight game and you know that. Plus, I'm not the one suing him. He picked a fight with an innocent woman who is standing up for herself and the only way she can by holding a predator legally accountable for breaking the law. Any person who understands that, who doesn't understand that, sorry, is a delusional twat. The lawsuit is her choice and I fully support her. Now I get to break his face in front of millions of people and ruin his entire life. Win win. Yo, he absolutely eviscerated Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ, man. Brendan with the own goal once again. Absolute redax, man. Absolute unapologetic redax.